Education is a key that unlocks the potential energy and promise of the nation, and engineers, perhaps more than any other profession, help America build and strengthen its future through their tenacious ingenuity, analytical mindset, and constant drive to innovate. Making a great engineering education available to every outstanding student, no matter their background, economic class, religion, or cultural tradition, is an objective we in the Yukon School of Engineering are committed to achieving. That's why we award over $700,000 in academic scholarships each year to more than 300 incoming and continuing students. Hi, my name is Deborah, and I'm a biomedical engineering major. From my time at UConn, I've been supported by my family, especially my mother, who's always ensured a great education for me, friends, lab mates, and mentors from both the stores and health center campuses, and that's something I'll always appreciate. So I decided to apply here for my master's degree and to do research at the Institute for Regenerative Engineering at the Yukon Health Center. Money was always a concern. Then, during my second semester, I was fortunate to receive a prestigious National Science Foundation LSAMP Bridge to Doctorate Fellowship, which covers my tuition and living expenses throughout my graduate program. Receiving this fellowship has lifted a weight from my shoulders. I am now able to pursue my education without the stress of loans looming over my head. And more importantly, I am now able to consider getting a PhD. In the future, I hope to work in a similar field, combining my knowledge of engineering with regenerative medicine to come up with solutions to illnesses that currently do not have restorative treatments. My name is Andrew Silva. I'm from Enfield, Connecticut, and I'm a junior studying chemical engineering here at the University of Connecticut. When I came to UConn, I knew that it was the place I wanted to be for the next four years. There was just this campus feel that I didn't get anywhere else. At UConn, I've been fortunate enough to receive a few different scholarships. Uh, the first is a Presidential Scholars Award that covers my tuition, um, a Unilever Scholarship, a UTC Power Scholarship, and the Walter M. Rose Endowed Scholarship. These scholarships have made a tremendous difference in my academic career. They've allowed me the time to spend with student organizations. One of those organizations is Beta Theta Pi, which is a social fraternity that is committed to uh, developing its members as, as leaders. And the other organization that I'm a part of is Engineers Without Borders. When I'm not studying or doing work with EWB or Beta, my favorite thing to do is play hockey. I started skating when I was five years old and I started becoming a goalie when my older brother and his friends needed someone to shoot on uh, when playing street hockey. It's unlike any other feeling. At UConn, I play on an intramural hockey team with some of my friends from my high school hockey team. In the end, I chose UConn because it's a top-notch public university, it's affordable, and it provides me with a very competitive education. My name is Rose Rosansky, and I'm a junior here at UConn for Material Sciences and Engineering. Throughout my undergraduate degree, I've received scholarships that have made the financial burden of going to college a lot less, one of which is the Art McEvely Scholarship, then the Academic Excellence Scholarship, and then this year the GE Advanced Materials Scholarship. When I work, I work for my daily expenses and not to get through college. This has made it a lot easier to enjoy college rather than trudge through it. I've also had the opportunity to go through a lot of student organizations and clubs during my time here at UConn, one of which is Engineering Ambassadors, which is a student organization in the School of Engineering where we teach children about how wonderful STEM learning is. And on the flip side, I also get to work with Dramatic Pause on campus, which is my theater group. It's called the Theater Group for Non-Theater Students. And also on campus, I'm a big runner, and if you've never seen UConn campus, it's beautiful just to be able to run around that on a nice day. Really it just comes down to it, you kind of gotten so many different opportunities and who knows once I graduate maybe I'll go for my graduate degree, maybe I'll go to an athletic fabric company, maybe I'll go abroad. I really can't know but being able to pay for college and being able to enjoy college the way that I have it's made me realize how lucky I am. Hi my name is Quentin Pittman, I'm an electrical engineering student here at UConn. Um, when I was deciding on picking colleges, one of the main reasons I chose UConn was because of its affordability. When I applied, I ended up getting the Presidential Scholarship, which was a four-year scholarship, and with that scholarship also came a grant for $2,500 where I could do any research that I want to do. Another scholarship that I received was 
the Pratt and Whitney Scholarship, which I got through the Bridge Program, which is a program that I did the summer before my freshman year. So I want to like help kids learn about engineering. And that's what also I'm involved in Engineering Ambassadors, which is a UTC-sponsored organization that goes out to elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools and teaches them about engineering. Engineers are problem solvers. So with engineering, you could basically go out and do whatever you set your mind to. Like you could go and invent whatever you want. Who makes these scholarships possible? People like you and me, alumni, businesses, and friends. People who, through their generosity and purpose, make an indelible impact on tomorrow.